Hello and welcome back to the channel. Fiercely Collecting here, back here in the Fiercely Collecting HQ. And today I thought we would do a display review. So I've shown these a couple times. These are my four mass car displays that I recently put up out here in the Hot Wheels room. And I thought it'd be a cool idea maybe to do one display at a time and just kind of take a deep dive into what cars I have in there. You can see I've done kind of a little color coordinating. And the first one we're gonna do is the black, silver, and white. So as you can see, I have the protective dust shield taken off so we can get a better look at the cars and grab some out. So without further ado, let's get into it. And let's get started up here in the top right corner in the black section. So here we have the Audi Avant with a nice little chrome 10 spoke wheel swap and the Pagani Zonda R in the matte black, which I did some bronze 10 spokes. So two wheel swaps to start it off up there. Then you have the McLaren P1 from the Jay Leno set. And then this guy here, actually I found, this was from my childhood collection. I found a bunch of jammers up in my parents' attic and lo and behold, this bad boy was stowed away in there. Has the opening back there with the engine and this was in like basically mint condition, which coming from a childhood collection is pretty awesome. Uh, then we have the Bugatti, is that the Veyron from the two pack? Then we have the Skyline from the Hot Wheels Red Edition. Then I believe the GameStop exclusive uh, A90 Supra. Then we have this sweet R35 that actually looks like a Target Red Edition, but it's not, it's just a regular mainline. But I really like this black and red color scheme. Then the wheels have the nice little red lip. Then we have the Lamborghini Huracan, the Lamborghini Aventador, and the mainline Bugatti Chiron, the mainline RX-7. I have the Super Treasure Hunt of that as well. Then we have the all blacked out Lycan Hypersport. And now we're getting into some juicy stuff. So of course I had to include some of my car culture chase pieces. So there is the Porsche from the Speed Machines. We have the very first chase, the Corvette C8R. And we have the RX-7, that's an FC, FC. RX-7, the Mercedes-Benz AMG Chase, another Mercedes Chase, got the Volvo Chase, the Lamborghini Countach Chase, then my other chases I think are in um, the G-Fans Garage in my background. But back up here we have the all-black R32 GTR from Fast and Furious. And then this, this is like one of my favorites. This Mercedes wagon, I believe this was I think it was just a car culture. I know it was a boulevard, pretty sure a boulevard. But man, it's all blacked out with the black five spokes, the chrome lip. This thing is killer. Super, super nice. Then another Mercedes. This was the exclusive that came with the Hot Wheels display. I got that off Amazon. And then a red edition Nissan 300ZX, the matte black Lamborghini Gallardo and then the Lexus from the Hot Wheels 2-pack. And we'll head up top here and run down the silver lane real quick. We have the Acura NSX, I believe from Fast and Furious. We have a Lamborghini Gallardo and then a Ferrari. So this was also from my childhood collection. What is this guy? All right, that's really hard to read, but I believe it's the Ferrari 512M. I really like these wheels also. But this one was in pretty mint shape as well, which was nice. Then we have the DeLorean, which was a, might have been a boulevard. We have the R34 from the Team Transport. We have the Mercedes race car, another Mercedes race car. Then the, I believe, is this a Bug Eye? Yes, yeah, this is a Bug Eye STI from the two pack Lamborghini Aventador. I believe this was the like Batman car culture one, the Fast and Furious R35, another sweet Nissan, I believe, from that two pack, and then the new Porsche from the Fast and Furious set, 
and another Bugatti Chiron from the Bugatti two pack. And starting off over here in the white columns, we have the Koenigsegg Agera R. I think that was from the Gumball Rally. And then we have the Gretti Dotson, nice McLaren Senna. Then we got the Gretti Civic. And then this row here has a lot of my white on white TE37 wheel swaps. So we have the A90 Supra, E46 M3. We got the Civic Hatch. We have the Mark IV Supra, which I should probably move up to be next to the Mark V Supra. Uh, then we have the Nissan Z. So I might have to maybe try to add a couple more to that white on white TE37 collection. But back over here, we have the Corvette C6 Z06, the McLaren P1, the Porsche Cayman the GT4, I believe. Then Nissan Silvia and kind of the off-road looking Porsche with the humongous TE37s. Then nice white on white Prelude, Acura NSX. This one looks super good with the white 10 spokes. Probably would be a good option to add in to the white TE37 club for sure. Then the Liberty Walk Huracan, the Lamborghini Murcielago SB, I believe. That one's super cool. And there is the mainline version of the RX-7. Then we got the new Lamborghini Countach, the Ford RS2000, nice Porsche GT3, RS, I believe. Another nice Porsche. And yeah, basically just a bunch of Porsches to round it off down here. This is the Matchbox one. Very interesting color. You can see definitely stands out with all of the white cars definitely more of like a off like cream white. So this is definitely kind of my first rendition here of this display. I did update it today. I added in that Porsche that we recently cracked open, um, but been going through my collection and all my jammers and just trying to pick out all the cars that I think are kind of my coolest for each different color here in the spectrum and put them in the display. So if there's any that you think I'm missing or that should go in one of these areas, let me know in the comments down below. I also was thinking um, about doing the colors going like horizontally instead of vertical. So maybe doing the whole, like the whole top row would be white and then the whole second row. So then all the displays would kind of be connected. Instead right now, it's like each display is kind of its own little color scheme. But that is gonna wrap it up here for today's video. So hopefully you enjoyed this little display overview. So next will be the yellow, orange, and red, which definitely has some pretty fire cars in there and no pun intended with the colors. Uh, still trying to think of what to put over here in my little diorama table. I decided I am gonna get a mat to go here um, that I can store stuff for doing wheel swaps. So it's kind of gonna be like a little workshop mat that will go right here. Then I'll have my like official wheel swap station, but still trying to figure out what to put back here to go behind this diorama. And I still, yes, need to get more cars up on the wall. I know we lowered the track down and everything so I could put more cars on the wall and I just have not gotten around to it yet. But you know how it is. You just so many things to do out here. I actually did make one more slight improvement. The uh, support boards for all the tables, I painted them black. So they used to be just natural wood color and they really stood out and bugged me, but now they are black. I'll stand back a little bit so you can even see the legs over here and right over there. So they are all black now and just looks a lot more professional. So thank you for tuning in and we will catch you on the up next upload. Peace.